welcome back to lagging through minecraft again this is episode number 10 so i guess you guys saw my shield which means of course that i figured out how to use this loom over here this thing right here allows you to put uh, banners in here and then change their colors around and make patterns and then you can attach it to your shield so i have an american flag now it's pretty dope and that's not all i also went and made a giant american flag next to my barn because it just felt like the American thing to do. You can't just have a slice of America in the form of a giant red and white barn without the American flag and a couple of American banners. I went overboard with the loom, okay? But here we are, and this is what we have. But also, check this out. Aha! I added a fence around the farm. And that, uh, you're growing the wrong way. So that's not cool. But, uh, check it out over here, guys. So we've got all these lanterns, and we got a fence going all the way around. But then there's this monstrosity that I built. I don't quite know what's going on here but it looks decent i think i think it looks decent and uh if you come around you can see it's all fenced in but the most important part is we now have a farmer to trade with in here and he lives in here but his house is definitely nicer than the other houses that the uh other traders live in but as you can see we can trade for emeralds with uh some carrots and potatoes which is really good watermelons will get us some emeralds as well my man gives up glistening melon slices and golden carrots too. But not a bad addition to the farm. And then I hear Socks over here. She's keeping all the rabbits and mice away. Thanks, Socks. Appreciate you. Now, on the last episode, we were messing around with our villager and I couldn't figure out how to get him to restock the trades, but I did figure it out. And then also you guys put a bunch of comments in the comment section as well. So together, I guess we figured it out, but check this out. So I made these wider. And now there's a bed in there so he can sleep, plus the appropriate work table for the cartographer, which would be the cartography table. And now he restocks all the time. So I can still trade paper for emeralds and all this awesome stuff. He, banner patterns and, and a blue banner and item frames and all this stuff. But this is what we want today. We want the Woodland Explorer map. We're going to need 14 emeralds and a compass to get it. So let me go get that. Also over here, this guy, still, I've got him a bed. I've got him a, a lectern in there. And he still only wants to trade gosh darn Frostwalker 2 and piercing. And some of you guys in the comments said if I break his podium and put it back down, that he'll change his options. But he doesn't. Ever. Watch. Okay, broken. And then we put it back down. And then we say, hey, what do you got for me? Frostwalker 2 and piercing 2. So maybe I'm doing that wrong. You guys let me know, please. And I've got a third one over here, but we don't have the villager for him yet. But I'm going to get a cleric, I think they're called. And we're going to brew table and a bed in here. So... It's all good. All right, what was it? 14 emeralds. I have 55, so that's pretty good. Get 14 in the inventory. And then something about a clock, but I don't even have a clock, so I think it's redstone. Probably is involved. I don't know. Maybe some gold. Possibly that. Let's, let's just go over here and see what we can make. Clock. Yeah, I was right about that. Cool. And did he say one in a clock or did he say one in a compass? Uh-oh. I don't remember. I feel like it was a compass. All right, hang on. I, I think you need a clock for a compass. Maybe not, though. Yeah, totally don't. Well, we've got both now, so that's cool. If he wants a clock, he can have a clock. If he wants a compass, he can have a compass. Let's put my put my iron back up. I'll put the gold back up. And let's get this redstone out of my face. Thank you. Mr. Trader! Mr. Trader, I have what you're looking for. Heard you wanted 14 diamonds, and it was a compass. And it's 13. Hang on. 14. Which one's the woodland? That's the woodland explorer map. Okay. So 14 and a compass. There it is, Ocean Explorer. No, 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 Woodland. Click on this. Woodland, there we go, okay. All right, we got the Woodland Explorer map and an extra clock now, great. You want a clock inside your house? I'd have to get an item frame, so you don't get one. Now we'll always know what time it is. It's one o'clock in Minecraft. All right, we need to bring some food with us, I think. Let's see, I've gotta have something cooked up. Yeah, 55 mutton, okay, that'll do. We're not gonna kill the chickens today, give them a break. Probably gonna want a spare bed for our journey as well, so I'll take three wool but i'll pull out four and then put one away and then now i have three again so that worked out perfect we'll just do that and then we'll just do this and look at that boom gray bed made it i think i'll bring some dirt with me too just in case we need to barricade ourselves somewhere all my armor's looking pretty good my sword's looking good oh by the way got knock knockback two on the sword so now uh with fire aspect i was having a problem hitting the guys and then they would catch me on fire but with now i have knockback on there because i don't have any fire protection uh, with knockback on there, that makes it so much easier. They go flying off, and so they rarely ever catch me on fire now. You want some lamb? Here you go. Right, if we take a look at this map, the, the nor north is the top of the map, and we're over in the northeast. So we need to head south and west. I just need to figure out which way is south, 
and we'll go that way. Oh, you know what we should do? We should bring our horse today. Let's bring the horse. That'll make it a lot easier, unless it's a lot harder, because this is a woodland explorer map, so we're gonna be in the woods, and, and having a horse in the woods is actually a pain in the butt, but whatever. Let's bring the horse today. As you can see, I have a collection of different colored sheep now, because when I was making that flag, I had to dye them so I can get the correct wool to make the flag, but uh, it was worth, it was worth. All right, Clip Clop, your first adventure. Oh, your Clip, your Clop. Hey, Clip Clop, your first adventure, let's go. Okay, so Southwest, turns out, is in this direction right here. Oh, the hold on, hold on. Hold on, before we go though, before we go, hang on, I wanna show you guys something else. Totally forgot that I did this. Back over here, Clip Clop, you're not escaping today. I'm gonna put you on this pole, I think. Can you, yeah, you go, you stay there for a minute, I'll be right back. You guys wanna see something pretty cool? Oh God, am I in it? Yeah, I'm in it. Check this out, man. So I did this to my portal room. I added a bunch of lava falls and dungeon quartz. I don't know what this stuff's called, but it looks good. It looks real good. I'm gonna go all the way up with it, but I've only made it this far so far. Pretty much tearing down an entire nether dungeon to do this, but I think it looks really good in here now. And then also because my mine shafts are on the other side of these walls here, and they're just made up of, you know, stone and stuff. I thought it looked kind of ugly looking down the hallway. So I made these cool redstone sticky piston doors. Look at that. Look what I can do. Look what I can do. Yeah, I did that. So now it hides that look down there, which I think is good. I think it looks really good. If you want to just take a peek behind the curtain here, see how the setup for this. Um, yeah, two sticky pistons on top of each other, uh, holding these bricks. And then one of these things right here powers up both the sticky pistons. And this is going to the switch. And then as you can see, it goes to that and that controls both of those when I flip the switch. And then I've just got a tunnel going all the way over to the other side and it's mirrored over there looking just like this as well. So one flip of the switch controls both sides. And there you go, I did that. I just kind of messed around with it till I got it right. But wait, there's more into the portal. Huh? Check it out, where are we? We're in the nether right now, but I made like a fortress so this stupid gas would stop breaking my my portal, although I don't really know how stone brick holds up against the gas. Uh, I certainly haven't tried it yet. I mean, none shot at me, but the pigmen seem to love it, man. Look at all these pigmen that have gathered since I built this thing. Look at it from the outside. You know what it looks like to me? You ever get one of those buckets that have a shape and then you just fill it up with sand and you dump it upside down and you have yourself a sand castle? <laughs> it looks like that. But I added a bunch of wood and some buttons to kind of give it some depth, some fence posts. I put a couple of those ominous banners around the top there. And just, you know, I, it is what it is, right? It's just a cool thing to have my, uh, my, my portal in. So yeah, let me know what you think of that. Oh God, it's nighttime. All right, I'm gonna take, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna go to bed first and then we're gonna start our adventure in the morning. No sense in starting it right now at the start of nighttime. Just not gonna happen. Ah, it's morning, just like that, wonderful. All right, where's Clip Clop? Hopefully he survived the night. I left him tied up by the mines over there. No, bad Enderman. Always stealing my blocks and making everything look weird around here. Okay, Clip Clop, you ready, bud? Be on top of you. Come on, there we go. All right, so I think that Southwest, which is the direction we need to head in, is over this way. Is over this way. So eventually, the white dot on the top right corner of the map will start to move and get bigger as we get closer. Now, I've, I've, I've read and seen videos that these woodland mansions spawn quite a far ways away. So we're definitely in for a journey today and we'll see what we get into. My God, it's happening. The white dot just got bigger. We are actually getting closer to the woodland mansion. Uh, just, just for a reference, I live at 250 minus 250 exactly. I'm in like the 8,000 block range now. They remind me to kill the villager that sold me this map when I get back home. This is ridiculous. I've been doing this for so long and I hate it. I've li literally explored pirate ships. I found another, a different guardian temple. I've gone through deserts, mountain. It's terrible, man. It's just terrible. I mean, I'm glad I brought the horse because it's definitely faster, but some places it's so hard to get through with the horse that it makes it a little tougher. But I think all in all, much faster with the horse. This is the way to do it. We just go over the top of all the trees. So much easier this way. Good job, Clip Clop. You're a smart horse. My God, the map's filling in. It really is. We were here. It's gotta be just right in front of us somewhere. Real close. Yes, it's straight in front of us. Our circle is now an arrow pointing to the way. Thank God. Let me get across this water. Clip clap, don't, don't drown. Come on. 
No trap. Get up. Get up. Boy. Good boy. Oh, this mansion better be worth it. I see it. There it is. Wow, it's huge. Jeez, I didn't think it was going to be that big. It better be worth it, man. This took an hour to get to. Probably an hour to get to. I... <laughs> I don't even want to go back home. I just want to restart my game over here now because, oh my God, what a journey. So annoying, but we are finally here. So I just got to park my dude somewhere safe. And we're going to go inside and explore the Woodland Mansion and hopefully get some good loot out of here. Right, I'm just going to dig Clip Clop a nice little hole here to hang out in. It's what we've got to do. It's what we've got to do, Clip Clop. Get in the hole, please, bud. Get you in that hole. Get in the hole. Good boy. Will you stay in there and not come out, please? Because that would be also awesome. All right, we got Clip Clop a little hole to live in. And then what I'm going to do is just build up a nice little dirt tower here. That way I can find Clip Clop when I'm done with this mansion. All right, we'll just go to the just go to the dirt tower. We're fine. I've got, fall, I've got Feather falling on. But like barely any damage. We're good. That might have killed me when first starting out Minecraft. But we're good now. Okay. Uh, no, zombie. No. Absolutely not. It. Thank you. I saw there's kind of an entrance down here. Oh, you know what we need to do? We need to make some torches. So we can light it up as well. Uh, I've got seven torches. Not going to be enough if you ask me. Um, Here, we can put the map away. Actually, let's just throw this map away. Do I have any coal? I do. Okay, and I have a stick and some coal. Boom. Torches. I'll make some more sticks in a minute. All right, let's get in here before we get swarmed out here. Oh, a little mobby. Hey, mob. Oh, it's God, it's one of these guys. They hit so hard. Don't hit me. Thank you. Oh, he dropped emeralds. Good start. Good start. Oh, we've already found a chest. Are you kidding me? Our experience of the Woodland Mansion is starting off fantastic. What do you got in here? Nothing but crap. I'll take the gunpowder and an extra lead because I lost one. We got two extra leads. Good. Well, I'm told these dudes do not respawn. So once you kill them, that's a wrap. We want to check each room super carefully. Oh, God. Creeper. <laughs> Back. Oh, God. Oh, that wasn't very nice, Mr. Creeps. See if I can snipe this guy. Come on. Well, he's not even coming after me. That's a free kill. All right, let's see what's in here. What's in here? It's a room filled with chest. Holy crap. I hear so many guys above me. It's crazy. There's a, a room just filled with baddies upstairs. All right, do any of these... Yeah, that's what I thought. I was about to say... There's no way they're going to have stuff in all these chests. All right, I checked all the chests. They're all empty. That's unfortunate. Zombie. Oh, look at this indoor pumpkin farm. That's pretty cool looking. Got some stairs going up here. Let's see what's up here. Oh, and they got watermelons. Wow, that's a cool farm. go illager dead ahead come on you ain't hitting me you ain't hitting me bud you're gonna burn now burn <laughs> thanks for the emerald chump oh god oh god that scared me so much i didn't even see him must have some good armor on he just whacked me and didn't even take a heart from me there's an easter egg with these guys if you trap one and put a name tag on him and name him Johnny, I think it is. They will then attack everything. Friendly mobs, creepers, skeletons, you, their own buddies that live in here. They'll just attack everything. And that's supposed to be an Easter egg from the movie The Shining, right? Here's Johnny. And so he just kills everything. But including you, you're still on that list. So it's kind of a cool Easter egg. Oh, nice, dude. Look at these cool rooms these guys have. Some sort of tree farm, but they can't grow like that. That's weird. It's a sapling farm. Dark oak, dark oak, dark oak. I don't think I have dark oak at home. We'll take that. Take a 10 stack of that. And then these don't go anywhere, really. Okay. Man, this mansion's pretty cool. But is it worth coming all the way out here? So far... Not yet, but we do have a couple emeralds, which I can get at home. Oh, there is a front door. I was wondering if there's a front door to this place. I couldn't find it. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, oh crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. All right, hold on. Take it easy, boys. These guys are fast, too. 
Got one. Knock back. Back. The zombie's got a sword. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do with that sword? Nothing. That's what you're gonna do. Got some more emeralds. Wanna finish the whole first floor before we go upstairs. Another integer. Man, they don't do a lot of damage to me. I thought they were gonna do a ton of damage, but we're pretty we're pretty set up for this. I imagine if you first come if you find one of these pretty early game, and maybe you just have iron armor or leather armor, you're probably gonna get slaughtered in here. I've got eight emeralds so far. <laughs> Nothing in this room. But a jack-o'-lantern. Interesting room here. I don't know exactly what they're building. There's a tree. And there's water. Ooh, what's in here? Like a prison? Yeah, it's like a prison cell. Look at this. Oh, they got a little mat they can sleep on the floor in. That's cool. Oh, more prison cells. Oh! Run! Run! Back! Back. Another emerald. Ooh, that's a two. At least two. I wonder if there's people in here. Let's see. There's something in one of these. No. 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 Let's shut that in case a mob spawns in there. They're kind of dark in there. Anything in this one? No. This Woodland Mansion is enormous. I didn't think it was going to be this big. Be back at the, have we done a full lap yet? I don't even know. I think I turned the wrong way. Hang on. I think we need to go this way. Yeah, y'all keep dropping emeralds. We're going to be all right. A bunch of wool in here. What the hell? Oh, there's definitely Enderman. Let's kill him. Hey, bud. Where are you? Come for me. Well, I don't know where he went. He was guarding a chest, and now he's gone. Now I'm gonna grab this chest. What's inside? Oh, good. I need some more coal. Yay, a name tag. We've got a uh, music disc. Why not? Our first music disc. All right, I guess that's the whole first floor. Let's go to the second floor now. Totally found it. All right, second floor. Here we go. Should be evokers here as well. So those are the guys that dropped the totem of, of undying. So that would totally be worth the trip if we can get a couple more of those before we leave. Let's go this way first, though. Nothing down the long hallway there. Anybody in here? Oh, man, library books. So you can't find these in villages anymore like you used to. But it looks like the Woodland Mansion's got all the library books. All right, I should correct that. I haven't found a village yet that has library books. So it looks like here's all your library books. Thing on top there. Oh, oh, we got it. Got an invoker, I think, maybe. It's hard to tell. Yeah, definitely. Got it before it casted any stupid spells. Nice. Did it drop a totem of undying? That is the question that I need an answer to. It did. Do they always drop one? Because we're going to get a few if they do. Nice. So we have two totems of undying now. And we have 15 emeralds so far. This trip is turning out okay. 15 free emeralds for trading back at home isn't bad. Oh, by the way, one of my villagers back at home is offering up name tags for like 20 emeralds. So we can get name tags whenever we want to now. I don't have to fish them out or find them in chests anymore. Uh, the heck kind of room is this? It looks like uh, queen king size beds, maybe? I don't know. There's some decent design ideas from this mansion. I heard a lot of players will like clear it out completely, torch it up, and then make this their base. Which isn't a bad idea. Ah! Run, 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 run. Get away from me. Get away. All right, I think there was the evoker in here. I think got like the yellow stripe on the robe. I think we got him. I think we got him. Yeah, if we can kill those dudes before they start doing any other nonsense, that'd be the best. Yeah, another totem of undying. Man, don't quote me on this, but maybe every one you kill, you get a totem of undying. Oh, they don't stack, though. That sucks. I still hear more enemies, so there must be... I know we came up the stairs here, so we got to check around this way, but I think there might be another floor above this one. Hello, creeper. Back. See that knockback? I mean, really helpful with creepers in general. 
Don't blow up, don't blow up. But also, if there's a mob on fire, it just gets... Oh god, there was another creeper in there! Wow. Just chilling in the dark. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Any more creepers in here? That's cool, I like that. So you could put a furnace back there, and it looks like a, a smoker, a cooker. That's really cool, or you could put some lava back there. I do like that, I might steal that idea. Uh, what the heck is this? Are we about to see a giant chicken? We are! Dude, that's awesome! Are you kidding me? Is there something inside of it? Got anything inside of you, chicken? We'll go into your butt and find out. No, I don't think there's anything inside of it. Very cool, though. Look at the size of this bed. This is cool, man. It's got, like, a canopy on top of it. Sounds like there's some enemies around the corner here. Like, behind this wall. So, in this room, I'm guessing, there's gonna be a few. Oh my god. Look at all of them back here. We're gonna get some emeralds for this. What are y'all doing back there? Die. Sorry. Not sorry. What are they all doing back there? That's where all that noise... Oh, there's a third floor. Okay. Man, they were trapped behind the stairs. Yeah, look at all these emeralds. There we go. There we go. Emerald City. Y'all hide any chests back here? No. Trapped by their own build. Ha <laughs> ha. So what I'm learning is there's not a lot of chest, at least. I think these are all generated differently. So you're going to have a totally different mansion experience than me. Yo, check it out, man. There's an illager uh, thing on the wall. That's cool. So you might have a totally different experience. But in my experience so far, I haven't found any uh, chest really. But I'm getting a ton of emeralds. And a couple of totem undying so far as well. Wait, that's all the upstairs? That doesn't make any sense. I don't believe you, game. I'm gonna walk around and make sure there's no more baddies around. I don't think we've cleared this whole thing, but maybe we have. Oh, this place sucks, man. I'm pretty sure I checked it all. Oh, God. Where'd you come from? Die, please. Die. I'm pretty sure I checked everywhere, and like I said, we didn't get great loot at all. I mean, we got th almost 30 emeralds, but I have looting on my sword. We got the totems of undying, two of them, and that also be could be because I have looting on my sword. Not sure. We got a record. So, is it worth coming out here? No. It's not. What are you doing? Don't chase me, you little monster. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. For me, I'd say it wasn't worth it. So, I'm just going to burn the place to the ground now. Ha 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 